Grandmaster Stroud here, brother teacher. I would like to take this moment to acknowledge a friend of mine uh, that I've known for quite a while. We're not uh, so much really intimate friends, but we're friends through the martial arts for the most part. And I have admired this young man throughout the period of time that I have known him. And that is none other than Master Anthony Price. Now, that name, Anthony Price, is synonymous with martial arts in this particular region of the United States because Anthony Price is a national champion. He is a wonderful and excellent martial arts competitor and for a good reason. He came from good stock. His instructors were Grandmaster George Warden, who was a great friend of mine and a member of my church along with his wife Jackie, and Grandmaster Johnny Johnson. And they did an excellent job in turning Anthony into the man that he is today as a martial artist. I first met Anthony, and he probably doesn't remember this, back in the early 80s. And what happened was we were sort of caravanning to a tournament uh, that was dedicated to Toki Hill that was given by Al Conaway. It was a tribute to Toki Hill that particular day. And so myself, along with Kenny Bell at the time, who was a green belt, uh, Grandmaster Bell and Anthony was a black belt and and at that time as well Anthony had a big afro and he wore a white karate uniform and then he was thin as a rail he's still sort of on the thin side but he's very muscular now but anyway um, and he wore glasses and I remember this vividly and a uh, very soft-spoken and so he along with Mark Clayton and uh, William Scott Jr., uh, James Cook, Joe Thompson, uh, Grandmaster Joe Thompson, who's deceased now, uh, they were all in attendance, and the MBBKA had their people there as well. And uh, I never will forget, uh, when Anthony entered into the gymnasium, as I said, he's soft-spoken, saying, hey, brother, how you doing today? But when he took off his glasses and he stepped on the floor, his whole personality changed. He became a beast. And I don't mean that in a derogatory sense, but he became a beast. In other words, he had the tournament mindset, that divide and conquer mentality. He dominated his opponents because that's who he was. And then when it was all over, after he had won his fights, he'd shake their hands and hug it up and say thank you, and he'd be back to Anthony again, that soft-spoken young man. And I remember that very, very well as if it was yesterday. But that was how I first met Master Price. But needless to say that he has uh, a slew of accomplishments, accolades, and awards that has followed him throughout his career. He has been a member of the Budweiser Karate team during the early 80s, along with Toki Hill, uh, Richard Plowden, uh, Billy Blanks, uh, Tony Young from Atlanta, and various other competitors. And he represented the Budweiser team in a stellar way. Along with that Statue of Liberty axe kick that he's known for. Now, for those who don't know who Anthony Price is, you just ought to. You should look him up. And he has a school in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, Priceless Martial Arts. And it is priceless because they have an instructor who really cares. And he believes in the winning spirit. A lot of people misunderstand Anthony, but I understand him very well. And Anthony, I want you to know today that you have done your father very proud and if he's looking down at you today he would say way to go son
because Anthony, you are everything that he would ever have imagined to have in the sun. You are a champion. And I want you to be encouraged and hang in there and continue to do what you're doing and continue to make your school into that example of toughness, just like their instructor. And I uh, was remiss by not saying that he also has another backbone, someone that keeps him strong and together in his wife, Noreen, and in his daughter, Nancy, and his school by and large. So Anthony Price, one of the greatest, one of the unsung heroes internationally. He needs to have all of the hooplas that we can possibly afford to give to him because he's deserving of it. He's been through a lot. He's accomplished a lot. And he is the thunder kick. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to give this shout out to my friend, uh, Grandmaster Anthony Price. And Anthony, this is from Brother Teacher to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your life. Continue to enjoy your life. And you will continue to rise. I'm out.